I'd like to share with you uh, why my colleagues and I felt this was a theme of vital importance. Probably like many of you, when we look at the data, we are persuaded that we face a future of volatility. We anticipate abrupt changes in biophysical states that disrupt sociopolitical systems, such as severe drought. And we're further persuaded that the current scientific way of knowing is causal to these systemic conditions. So a science's usual path means, as Jim Hansen has said, that the planetary conditions that support cooperative human existence will no longer be in place in the lifetimes of our grandchildren. So we've proposed this theme out of the engineering professional mandate to prioritize societal well-being over all other considerations. So what is it? Um, in a nutshell, what we are suggesting is that we live in a world of dynamic complexity and reductionist science that works well in a laboratory neither applies to this world nor enables us to effectively work with it. And we must develop a new science of working in the real world. So essentially taking uh, science out of the laboratory and into the world in a way that's consistent with our ethical mandates. Now, a dilemma that I have is that, uh, you know, we are all products of the current scientific worldview. And uh, that means that our, our thinking, we're going to hear things in a particular way, that our mental models are, uh, when they encounter something that doesn't uh, fit with that, those mental models are just sort of going to reject the idea. Uh, so I sort of